It's the man. We need like a Dora the Explorer theme for this. It's a bag, it's a bag, it's a bag, it's a movie bag. What is it? I haven't seen. Oh, it's Men at Work starring Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez. Brothers. The, the <laughs> funniest thing every time I see Emilio Estevez now, all I can think is. Um, I think it's called The Way, directed by him. He stars in it, produces it, and he wrote it. Yeah. And him and his dad are in there in one scene. <laughs> just like twins. Like, you guys just remake twins together. Jesus. Yeah, they look a lot alike. Uh, Charlie does, doesn't. Well, he's, he's sort of getting there. Well, now he doesn't sort of because he's like really skinny. He doesn't look like his dad much anymore, but he used to. Yeah. He's sort of little... He had a little meat on the bone, but I guess now that he has HIV, <laughs> that the pounds are probably going off. Yeah, Jesus. He has enough money, though, to sustain that. <laughs> now, before we keep going on with this, A, I haven't seen this. Oh. So, I'm going to have to check it out, obviously. Yeah, this is this is kind of, of a uh, guilty pleasure for me. It's It stars, of course, brothers, Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez. I believe it is written and directed by Emilio Estevez as well. Yes, it is. Wham, bam. It's a comedy. It's it's about two garbage men who... (laughs) It's it's such a goofy plot. It's sort of like Rear Window, but... uh, Anyway, uh, they... Like, they're garbage men, and uh, I think it's Charlie Sheen. He has, like, an apartment complex, and out his window he can see a different apartment co- complex with all the other people and stuff. So one day he he, uh, <laughs> he he notices that one of the girls in the apartment is sort of getting roughed up by a guy. So he gets out his uh, pellet gun and shoots the guy in the ass because, you know... He, sees a guy like from the next and he, so he shoots him in the ass and next day when they're putting their garbage out that guy who he shot in the ass is in the, one of the garbage bags dead and he's also running for like mayor or something like that political <laughs> officer or something yeah. and there's also uh, what's what's that guy's name Keith David or yeah David? Keith David <laughs> he's in my there. boy he's in there as well because they're both on probation because they're goofing off on the job so he has to come in and watch him and, <laughs> and so it's like the three of them are mixed up in this murder or whatever and yeah so they think that they killed the guy but they really didn't because after he shoots the guy they show that the, these two big Italian guys come in and strangle him <laughs> so it's it's a very wacky sort of movie and there are moments in there that I get pretty funny i get a good laugh out of it. it's it's really, like i said like it says everything on here there's charlie sheen and emilio estevez and there's a garbage can with legs coming out of it the smallest so. person in the world <laughs> <laughs> like it's past his fucking cap so yeah this is kind of a guilty pleasure for me i don't know if I'll be other people out there like this film but I remember watching it as a kid, and yeah, I, I I think I seen it on one of the the local stations or something. So, Channel thirty eight. Yeah, yeah, one of those, and and for some reason I wanted this film on DVD, so I told, I think it was maybe my aunt or my grandma. I was like, she was, they're like, what can I get you for your birthday? And I was like, can I get men at work? <laughs> So I got men at Santa work. Porno or? <laughs> so I got a men at work on on uh, DVD for my birthday that year. <laughs> nice. And obviously, I don't know what years. Hang on, let's see the release of this. Yeah, two thousand two, like the early two thousands for MGM mm-hmm. boxing had the laziest people. Like, oh, yeah. I've never liked that. Like, if you have space balls on DVD, I have the, the exact like. It was like, it wasn't their special, like, series, like how other companies do that. It was just like, this is from MGM uh, DVD, here you go. And they never put, yeah, they never put special features on any of their fucking DVDs, which is, I think they might have put, like, the trailer on Yeah, same thing with Spaceballs, look at special features, original uh, trailer. Yeah. That's not a special feature, that's something that made you want to go see a movie. (laughs) That's, the worst is, um... 
the, like 2002 to 2005, I think, is when DVD started yeah. going downhill to switch to Blu-ray and shit, or yeah. uh, HD DVD. <laughs> <laughs> but the special feature is literally turned into just audio. That's not a special feature. That's something that comes with movies. That's not a special feature. <laughs> and I loved when you get uh, DVDs when they first came out, and it's like the first trailers. It's like interactive menace, and it's like really shitty 3D like selection <laughs> things. Like if you get the Terminator 2 <laughs> DVD, it's like the shittiest like th- <laughs> 3D menu thing. It's like oh my god. But the one thing that MGM is notorious for when they release these movies. This. This has always bugged the shit out of me because I enjoyed the fact that you could get the DVD and watch standard or widescreen. I don't know why you'd ever watch it standard. <laughs> well, I do know why because you always got, I don't like the body burning me. Fuck you. You can see the whole entire movie. And then you got the, I'll never forget the TCM breaking, yeah. like Martin Square says he breaking down. Like, if you don't have it in this format, it just looks like shit and it shows like, <laughs> Seven wives for seven brides, yeah, or whatever yeah, the fuck seven, it is. Seven brides for seven brothers, yeah. 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 That's going to be the new one, though. Seven brides for seven <laughs> wives. <laughs> and it shows it just, like, cut how much it, like, loses. So always watch it in widescreen. Don't ever be that person. <laughs> You're the same type of person. I don't watch movies with some titles. Anyways, <laughs> the problem with these were, I love the fact, like I was saying, you could watch it in standard or widescreen. <laughs> the problem with that, though, is you got those cocksucker friends that come over and Get it all fucking scratch and grease on it. People just... Just people that want to take care of DVDs always piss me off. That's one of my pet peeves. You spent money on it. <laughs> put it in the case. Or people that don't put the dust cases over it that like come with it. I don't give a shit. It's extra cardboard. Just put it over. Put it in a frame if you like the movie that much. But back to this movie. <laughs> Going off on tangents over here today. So you have anything to say about this movie? I mean, I'll definitely have to check it out because was this uh, early nineties? Uh, it might have been nineteen ninety nine. Jesus, <laughs> dyslexia. Nineteen ninety. Sorry. Okay. Um, hour thirty nine minutes. I love comedies that were short and sweet and to the point, not the shit that we're getting nowadays, where it's like an hour and like twenty four minutes. I'm not paying fucking ten dollars to go see like a goddamn Melissa McCarthy movie. Or it's just like, I know I'm not going to laugh. So I always do enjoy old classic comedies such as this. <laughs> Even if it's a screwball type thing or it's not amazing, mm-hmm. it's still probably definitely worth a watch. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to check it out. I feel like this might be, today, this might be one of those like occurrences where <laughs> one of us probably hasn't seen the movie. So yeah. bear with us. I mean, obviously I can't talk about this too much, but I mean... Early Charlie Sheen, good shit. Early Emilio Estevez, good shit. And then, obviously, flash forward an hour, they need to make a twins movie with him and his dad. Or maybe triplets the movie and just have, like, all three of them just staring at each other in the room. God damn, we look alike. You must be my boys. Yeah, I would, I would love for Emilio Estevez to do some sort of comeback. I think he was, like, he was always, like, an underrated actor for me. Definitely. Yeah, like, his... Like, even, like, it's a little, his sort of most remembered roles, like, playing Bombay in the, the yeah. Mighty Ducks movies, he still made that role his own, and I can't really picture, like, anyone else playing that role. Yeah. I know it sounds really over putting it, but, but, I, I, like, I really enjoyed him and when his acting work. I know his directing work is actually pretty good as well, but... I would like to see him make some sort of acting comeback because I always felt he never got the respect he deserved. Definitely. Yeah, Charlie Sheen, I don't know why everyone picked him over Emilio. Um, I, I still can't believe, going out with Charlie Sheen here, that he didn't choose to do Wall Street 2. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, not that I enjoy that <laughs> sequel, but it's like, Charlie, what are you doing? Selling some tiger blood over there. I'll let Kyle start with this. I can't review it, obviously. Well, I'm probably going to have to give this some Ryo use because I don't think the normal person would give this a good score. But a Riley, I give it like a 7 on the Riley meter. <laughs> what would you give out of embraces if you had to? Probably like 
four, five, <laughs> four point five. <laughs> I, I can see there. We'll have to definitely check it out, though. 